G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wood Price and Glue, I'm Len GXV6 and today we're going to continue on with the US uh, Constellation model um, and one of the things we're going to be doing is the bore now uh, if you're not too familiar <laughs> with how to bend wood I'm going to take you through it so, uh, as you can see we've got the model uh, mind me not looking at the camera um, and what we have to do is we have to take one of these and basically bend it around like that hmm pain in the butt if you try to do this with it you you will find you're not going to bend it it's it's plywood it's painful and yet you can. And this one is for this side. Roughly goes on like of that. So I'm going to take you through how um, I did this. Back in a sec. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on the camera at the moment, I have my trusty kettle set up. Actually, this is. My wife's kettle and I'll probably get in trouble for this but uh, what we're going to have to do is take this we're going to have to seam it um, this is the starboard side I've actually marked it starboard inner this is the inner side this is where I need the curve you would have noticed before I was bending it around the model that was to get where the curve is um, this section has to be bent out through uh, roughly 90 degrees now it's plywood. You can't do that with plywood, I'm afraid. It just doesn't work. Um, if you nail this on the model and then try to bend it around the model, this is just going to snap. And this is one of the easy ways to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick the kettle on. Now, I have actually been using it because um, I did this one earlier. This is the port one. And Yes, that's going to get noisy. What we're after, though, is steam. We just need to steam this bit. What we're going to do is just hold it and use a little force. It's waiting for the steam to come up, actually. Now, be very careful when you're doing this because this is steam. Steam, of course, 100 degrees centigrade or plus. Um, so it's going to come out of the kettle. If you're not careful, you're going to burn yourself. Uh, if you are a young child building one of these models, um, grab mum and dad and have mum or dad do this, okay? Yeah, that's actually starting to get really hot. There we go. And the steam's coming up. Boys. And now all we're going to do is just gently bend it. it away okay so you may not get the full bend on the first go and you can see there it's actually uh, coming apart that's a problem but we can deal with that problem I think actually we might have a very shitty board I, I, as you can see, this is the glue on this has just come apart. Um, if you have a look at this one, the glue didn't. So, and they're off the same board, which is uh, interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. What we're 
we're going to do now is we're going to start attaching the balls. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. So what I've done is I've uh, pre-drilled a hole here. I'm going to grab a nail to attempt to push the nail in the hole. And see, I've got this out where the center line is. Now, when I did these, I also made sure that I made around the center line. Now, I haven't put glue on this at the moment. That will come. What I want to do is make sure it sits down. Remember, we're taking up the tension of the curve here. That didn't work. Let's try this again. As you can. I don't, oh yeah, you can see on the camera. As you can see now, this way, I'm going to put the water walls on, uh, waterways on after the ball walls, um, so that I can put them up. But apparently, it's working quite well, and I've lost my super glue. That's fantastic. Okay, I've literally lost my super glue. Well, you can grab a new one. Yeah. Right. Super glue is my preference over nails for stuff like this. Um, it does have a really good tensile strength, which is fantastic. Um, it doesn't leave the brass nails, um, which can be a problem when you're sanding. And it dries fairly quickly. And once this is on, it's not going to move. But it also gives us a little flexibility, and it's the flexibility that we're looking for here. Okay, that's, um, that's not sitting right. Now, if I nailed that, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So we'll start from this end, and we'll work our way back. So what happened there is maybe one of these uh, planks is not level correctly. Um, so my fault, not model's fault. Um, so I'll start from this end and I'll work backwards. Um, in fact, you can see that this is uh, pushing inwards and it should actually be going upwards. Interesting. And it's actually all in position. If I pick it up and turn it over, look at that. Hard up against the waterway. Except for that bit down there, which we've got another bit that's going to bump up against it, so not concerned just yet. 
about that part. Um, these are angled slightly inboard, which is how they should be. And these are actually coming cutlers. Now, we've got parts that have to sit on top, uh, like right there. So the half part coming uh, vertical is actually a good thing. So that's a very good indication that we've got this in the right spot. Uh, and now I can't get back in the program. Uh, other than there, this is all flush, and I think there's a problem underneath. So I'm going to finish these off, uh, get the ball walls off, and then I'll bring it back. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, as you can now see, the ball walls are on. Uh, get up, turn it over. Uh, I've used a little bit of filler on the edges. Just to bring that up nice and smooth. There is a bit of a crack here, but I did that uh, long before. I actually did the bending. I was playing around with it. And yeah, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, there it is. As you can see, um, and it's all on. So the next part of the plan will be uh, to mark out and cut uh, the gun ports. So that will be the next video: is to mark those out, and cut them. Um, moving on from there, once they're cut, we will go into putting. Uh, the top layer uh, onto the hole, getting that part sorted out. Uh, once we've got the top layer on, and we're happy with how the top layer is, we'll give it a sand, make it nice and smooth, yada yada yada. Um, we will then have a look on the plans on the inside of the ball wall, see if there's anything on the inside. Um, not forgetting there is uh, gun ports that have to be uh, cut out on the ball walls as well, so those, those will have to be done. Um, and if there's nothing on attached to the inside, um, much like the Scottish maid had uh, frames coming up with little decorative bits in the middle, um, that's the sort of thing we're looking at. Because uh, once we've got to that point, what we'll do is we'll put the rail uh, onto the top. Um, I'll fix this part up here. I need to put a little filler in, uh, that side and that side. And I'll do that with a bit of um, spare wood. Uh, and match it so that it looks like it's supposed to be there. Also, there's a point here on the bow um, that has to be cut out. Again, we will get to that point. Again, we'll do it before we get the rails on. But essentially, at the moment, <laughs> the ship is starting to look like a ship. The hull has been worked. It's smooth. And there's a few issues on the whole, um, but when the top layer goes on, uh, those issues are going to disappear. Uh, but it is nice and smooth, and that's uh, exactly what we want. Nice and smooth. Um, so yeah. If you like the video, of course, guys, do the thumbs up things. Don't forget to hit the notification, uh, hit the bell. Uh, and if you haven't already, please press subscribe. We're getting subscribers now every week, which is fantastic. Um, what I am attempting to get to is about 400. Well, I have to get to a 400, uh, and then I can activate uh, the rest of the YouTube bits and pieces. Um, that was a measure that they bought in um, what, about four or five years ago uh, to stop accounts uh, being active for like a two or three months, making a buttload of money um, by selling things that are totally illegal and then up and disappearing. So they sort of changed around how things have worked. But that's the plan. We need to hit 400. Well, eventually we'll hit it 400. Um, so, as I said, next video, we'll do the gun ports. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, go against the following season.